Greetings, gamer girls! I am Celestine, also known as Cold Clocks, and then welcome back for Metroid 2 The Return of Samus. In the last episode, we took down four Metroids. Count them. Four. They were easy. Uh, in this episode, we are going to go over to the area where the lava receded. If I could stop getting hit by these. Okay, you know what? I hated these things in Metroid 1. I have all right to hate them in Metroid 2. Anyways, uh, just like in the first game, by the way, uh, they, they will, once, if, if you, uh, defeat them and they drop a power-up, they won't respawn until you collect the power-up. Or the power-up, the item, jeez. It'd be cool if they drop power-ups, but they don't. Anyway, though, uh, Alright, and you know, I gotta say, it's really bothering me using using the control stick to, to use this to, uh, to play this because I'm the Game Boy player, and the D-pad is kind of weird sometimes. Alright, back to this awesome music. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to get the, um, oh, look at this, this is the area where the lava was seated. Uh, that's why I kind of want to get that type of controller that's shaped like a Super Nintendo controller. But, it's like shaped like a Super Nintendo controller, but it is a GameCube controller. Some might argue I should just use a Super Game Boy, but I, but I feel like, but I want to show you guys, um, the graphical stuff in this game. And, which, it's just kind of funny because this is a game, this is, this wasn't really a Game Boy Color game, yet look at all the color as. I mean, it's got more color than if I were to emulate it. That's one of the reasons why I don't like emulating Game Boy games, because you just miss out on all the graphical stuff if you were to just play it out of Game Boy Color or just... <laughs> Something like that. I don't like... I mean, I know graphics aren't everything, but... But I want to see... I just want to see the color. Oh crap. Okay, uh, then we want to go this way, I believe. Yeah, we're in this area. These things are not killable, they're basically just things that when you step on them, they go down and you go with them. And you, if there's stuff above you, you get stuck. Er. Okay, that was weird, I, cu I couldn't move until I went into the spider ball. Oh, okay, those things, uh, when you step on them, you get stuck on them unless you jump. Uh, I think I might want to have my missiles out, because if I'm not mistaken... Yep! Yeah. 
We only got one of them. Oh, we have eight to get now. We're even hit through here. We're down here now. Now those enemies look look weird. Uh, if we head over here. There's a save pedestal, so if you want to save, you know where to go. I believe there's actually two save pedestals, pedestals in this area. There's one here. Now when you go through here... Oh, these enemies are... These enemies are so freaking obnoxious. Okay, you know what? That thing did so much damage, like... Ugh. But I think there's a safe pedestal over there. Take my word for it. Don't worry, we'll be getting something really good soon. Drop health. Wow. Anyways, um, we head up here. I believe there's something waiting for us. Uh, this thing. I, I was so sure I was gonna get hit by that thing. And then again, I wouldn't be surprised by how much damage I get hit in these games. They're more so just Metroid, but. Can these things drop health? I'm pretty sure they can. Alright, whoa. Uh, there is a way we could go in here. And, just, uh, it's just a uh, missile leg. Oh wait, there's spikes here, so I don't think we can go this way. Or can we? Nope. Jeez. Whoa! I think I better get some help. I'll be right back. Okay, a little bit later, and actually a few hours later because I had to go. Um, <clears throat> what do I want? What do I want to do next? Um. I think you actually have to go up from the- wait a minute. Okay, I was thinking you had to go up there, but you actually you can't reach it. So that means we have to go past that thing that took out, out like 90% of our health. I'm actually really glad to be in here because there's actually something really useful we can get. That will make fighting enemies just all mu all much easier because seriously, getting it's like you take one it's like one thing hits you and it takes up takes out like like fifteen percent like fifteen of your health. I mean, I guess fifteen's better than like thirty, but oh jeez, yeah, that's a, that thing does a crap ton of damage. I 
I don't even know if it's really killable. Or actually, is it killable? Thankfully, it can only shoot one direction. Oh, yeah. You, you can use uh, missiles on it. And it will actually drop a... Uh, I think for, I think for uh, healing uh, 20 health. Here's that other safe pedestal I was, I was speaking of. That I spoke of. Alright. But n now I'm gonna go down here. Alright, we got water here. I was trying to avoid falling in, but I guess it didn't, it didn't work out. Oh, I guess we had to be in the water anyway. Alright, check it out. We got a missile tank. Alright, 10 extra missiles. Up, uh, missile missiles actually got an upgrade in this game, in the first game. Uh, and they only, uh, they only, uh, recover the, um, they only, uh, gave, uh, 5, here they give 10, and here we have a fake wall. Yeah. I also like how, um, Samus actually has, um, a different, uh, Samus's gun looks different. Uh, she just does just change color. Oh wait, and uh, and we had a Metroid right there, and then unexpectedly, it kind of just throws you right into it when you encounter that one, and you'll be like, "What the heck?" But, anyways, uh, head up. I believe we want to go through here, and this looks really weird. Actually, wait, um, I think there's a missile, a missile tank we can get somewhere in here. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I thought there was a missile tank we could get somewhere in here. Well, I can't find it, so I guess we'll just get head up. And we have this area right here. Nothing here. Try to start trying to remember this stuff. Is there something you can blow up somewhere in here? All right. Oh, well, you can go down here if you want. All right. Oh, wait, there is something down here. So that was a fake. So that was a fake thing. Uh, let's see. I think you got to pull these up. Ah, uh, yes. Look at this, the very, uh, 
I cannot express how happy I am to get this. And wow, she actually, look, she actually has an animation of her putting it on. And it actually looks pretty different. Like, it's not just a recolor, it's actually, um, actually has a different shape to it. Something that was not in the first game. But I'm so grateful to finally have this. That wasn't what I expected to find, though. And also, the morph ball looks kind of weird. It almost looks like lava. I thought there was something else in here, though. Alright, I don't think you can get over there. Yeah, we just kind of fall. Oh, wait, 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 okay, no, that's the way to the Varia. Uh, now the map, the map I'm using kind of, kind of, kind of confuses that. And again, this map's not perfect. In the first game, you actually required the uh, high jump boost to get the, uh, to get the, uh, Varia, but here you don't. Know, which I guess is good. Actually, wait, hold on. I'm gonna go back. I know there's a missile tank somewhere there. I know there's a missile tank somewhere in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here it is. And now we gotta do the tedious task of blowing all, all four of these up. Kinda reminds me of that, kinda reminds me of the Goron Chop in, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina Time. Which I, which I really gotta get back to. I've already, I've already, um, beaten, like, the first... Th I've already beaten, like, the first four... The first... I've already beaten five dungeons. But anyways, um... Now, uh, let's see. How long has this video been on? 18 minutes now? Uh, the, yeah. By the way, you can actually fall through these uh, Metroid shells, and and uh, you can kind of sit in them if you want to. However, there are more Metroids yet to yet to be slain, so we must slay them. I'm good at wording these sentences. I'm, I'm good at, uh, my sentence structures. But, uh, I think the place where we're gonna go first is... I think we gotta keep going forth here. And through here. We could keep going up, but I'm just gonna go down more. There are no power-ups down here, uh, or... Uh, there's just, um, but there are some Metroids down here. Or, am I in the, oh wait, no, we gotta go this way. Let's see. I'm gonna go this way first.
Alright, we got a good old fashioned Metroid here. What the heck? This is a different Metroid. Uh, this is a Metroid Gamma. It basically has, um, like some kind of arm or whatever in it that tries to attack you with. When it, uh, has its arm out like that, it's actually invincible. Or not invincible, but just some Furbies from the front. All you gotta do is just hit it three times, or not three times, ten times, and, uh, you're good. You can definitely see we took a lot less damage from that. I don't think we, I don't think we would have even survived that if we didn't have the Varia. Alright, oh crap, uh... Alright, now we head this way. Have another Metroid Alpha. By the way, uh, for those who I, for those who thought I didn't make this explicitly clear, whatever word I'm supposed to use there, uh, the uh, the three right there is okay. The, the big the bigger number is that is uh, how many Metroids we need to kill in total, and the one where you pause the game is how many you need to kill to move on to the next area. I didn't make. I don't really think I made this excess this excessively clear. So forgive me on that that one. Head back. The, let's head through this way. Oh, this is annoying. It's gonna be even more annoying because. Look at this. Metroid Gamma in an area this restricted. Oh crap, no, 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 no. I I'm not gonna die here, man. Okay, I'm just gonna pummel it with missiles. Alright. I've never actually ran out of missiles in this game before. Right here, energy station. Thank goodness. My fingers are getting numb. It's kind of cold down here. Oh crap. We got another Metroid. Metroid Alpha, excuse me, I'm not being very specific. Going, but I do not believe there is anything over here. Uh, and I was right. Okay, guys. Uh, I think now would be a time to stop the video. In the next episode, uh, we will continue our journey through um, this area. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, just like in, I mean in the first game where there were. Um, Speaking of that, uh, the, in the first game where there were, uh, five main areas, uh, Brinstar, Norfair, Craig's Lair, and Ridley's Lair, uh, and Torian, um, in this game, that's not the case. There, that, there, the region, there are no specific names 
of the regions. It's just, um... It's just, uh... Just the planet. SR388. But anyways, guys, uh, in the... <laughs> Uh, in the next episode, I will meet you guys at the left safe pedestal, and and we will continue our journey and, and going into the... Oh, there are, like I said, there are only four Metroids down here. We got them all. Uh, uh, I will meet you guys at the safe left safe pedestal, and we will could, we will we will start our journey on the upper area of this of this region. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, remember to smile. You were the face of Clone Collection in the night gaming. Goodbye.